everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Shelley Geigel with JNS Hobbies and Crafts and today's tutorial is on this chipboard trifold. It's by 49 and Market using their uh, already made Foundations Memory Keeper. It's about six and five eighths by eight and a half with the one and a half inch spine. And then we went ahead in the tutorial and added pages and pockets. So this came out super easy. It's a one paper pack project. And I'm just gonna take you around to look what I did. You can add more stuff to this as far as the cut aparts and decorating. But this has some really good heavy duty magnets on it. So let's open this up. And the first thing you're gonna see is the inside here where we can just place a photograph or a couple of them. This folds out. And I have a hidden page in here too. And I'm going to show you that. This has a, this little enclosure here has a very strong magnet, which is part of the trifold. And you just undo that. And then here is our page two that we ended up adding. So there's a place here, and we have a pocket here. And I have a bunch of picture mats in here, and then I have some of the cut aparts. Uh, We'll just stick all that back in there. And then we installed uh, a waterfall here. And there's a place to put a photograph down here. Now down here, and you can get some photographs on this. And over here we added um, this to it. And this is a large fold out. And a place for photograph and a pocket. And I just made a large folder and it's picture mats and these are some of the cut aparts. So that is what we're going to be making today. And this page two is kind of fun because it does fold over first and then you close this. And once you bring up the side, it folds right on in there and tucks away. So that's what we're making today. Let's move on into the materials list. This is like literally barely nothing to it. Materials list. Well, there's not too much to this. I'm going to use one pack of the Stamperia Romantic Collection Our Way. And this is the 12 by 12 size that you're going to need. This is just absolutely beautiful. So next is something new that I wanted to try. And this is the 49 in Market Foundations Memory Keeper. It's a tri-fold magnetic closure. And this is all chipboard. So I'm going to show you this really quick. And it has a heavy duty magnet right up front. And this is just the cardboard uh, insert. There's nothing to this. You can just toss this or use it for something else. But again, this is chipboard as well. And there's another heavy duty magnet. And this comes down. And we're going to be adding to this. So this is really, really heavy duty and nice. And this measures. It says that this is 6.62 by 8.5 by 1.5. So 6.62 is about 6 and 5 eighths. So we need that. And then for our inserts, what I'm using is the Basil 8.5 by 11. It's a heavy duty black cardstock. This is Licorice Twist. And it's about equivalent to about 110 pound cat card stock, and that's what I'm gonna be using. Other things that you're going to need is some, we're just gonna use glue for most of the ins, inside, and uh, you'll wanna make sure that you get that metal tip. This is art glitter glue, it's very well loved. I'm gonna be replacing this bottle soon so you can actually see what the label looks like when I show you. But you'll wanna get that metal tip as well for fine precision gluing, and, and you won't waste this. And you're gonna want some quarter inch score tape handy. That's it, oh. Equipment really quick. What we're going to need here is you are going to want a ruler with a pencil and an eraser, your scissors, a scoring tool, a scoring board, and a paper cutter. And a craft knife would be handy. 
All right, let's begin. And also, don't forget to download the free pre-cutting guide so we can get this all ready to go. So let's begin. Let's grab our trifold, and you want to make sure that the opening is off to the right so that when you open it up, it looks like this. So we're going to label this so that we do not get confused. We are going to put front. This gets covered, and we're going to rotate it, and we're going to put back. Whoops. Okay. The next thing that I would like you to do is open this up here, just one, just bring that over. I want you to put a number one. This right here, we're going to put bottom closure, and then we'll just open that up. Now as we look at this right here, you'll see we have two spines. On this one, I want you to write inner spine number one. Over here, you can just put inner spine two, number two. This, we're just going to open this up and we're going to put a number three because our number two page we have to insert. And over here, we're going to put four. So this is what we did. Here's one inner spine number one, then three inner spine number two and four. And we don't have to label this. So now that we have that, let's start grabbing our decorated paper to cover the outside. In your paper pack, you will find this gorgeous print. On the other side, it looks like this. So in this tutorial, we're going to want to have the same leftover cutting. So the first thing I would like us to do is turn our paper so we're looking at it sideways. And I'm going to try and stay consistent like I normally do and start over here and say measure over this way. That's why I'm having you turn it so that we're going to measure over this way, we'll cut and then we can turn it this way so that I get a certain piece out of here and we all have the same leftovers. So first things first. Starting from this side, we're going to measure over eight and a quarter inches and cut. My blade is right here, eight and a quarter. For now, put this in your reserve pile. Now, your reserve pile is the same thing as a scrap pile. I have always called it reserve pile because I'm reserving this piece to use it again. So we'll just set that off to the side. Now looking at it like this, we're going to measure over six inches and cut that right down the middle. And we will move that out of the way. And we're just going to flip these over. So the piece I'm working with, it really doesn't matter, but one's going to be for the front and you will notice it's going to be short over here and that's fine. Now you can use your glue to glue this down and then you can burnish really good make sure all those edges are down or you can use your score tape. And I am going to be using quarter inch score tape today. And all I'm going to do is start by going around the edges all the way around like a picture frame without going over. And if I do go over I will inspect my sheet and cut off anything because we definitely don't want our tape to show on the other side. Once we have it all the way around, we'll start in the middle. We'll put one here, and I think since we don't have anything really dangling off, we'll just go one in between each side. And now I'm going to inspect this, because I know I went over with my score tape, and I'll clip it. We're going to do the same thing on this one, so let's do that. I have both of mine done, and now I'm going to take the time and just go over that tape and make sure I get out all the air bubbles from underneath it so there is no liftage. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is remove the score tape backing here. I'm gonna shoot a little bit of glue down here so that when I do place this, and we are gonna place this and leave one eighth inch away from the right hand side so we'll have that gap over to the left. And again, my opening is right here. So let's get that off. And the only reason why I shoot a little glue down there is so that I can maneuver my paper. So that way, if I start getting it on crooked, the glue will help me so I can maneuver a little better. Okay, I got my glue down here. I'm going to turn this over, and again, I am going to center this top and bottom. So there will be about an eighth or so black chipboard showing up and down, and about an eighth inch from the side. So I'm going to start down at the bottom and hope I get this on pretty straight. That'll do. And now I'm just going to burnish again. All right, we're going to bring this back over to the back. I'm going to remove my score tape backing. I'll put a little glue down there. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to center this top and bottom side to side. So there's going to be two gaps here and here. And I'm going to center that as best I can. Try to get it straight. That's good enough. Okay, we'll flip it back over here. Grab this back out of your reserves or scrap pile. And what I would like us to do is we're going to measure over eight and a quarter and cut. After making that cut, you should have this. Go ahead and put that back in your reserves. Now we're going to look at it like this. Our first cut will measure over one and three eighths and cut. All right, we'll need this again. Now on this, I'm just going to use glue, but here is the front. This piece will fit right in here. So I'm just going to use glues for this. It's easier to maneuver onto the spine. We'll glue that down and center it. And we're leaving our black on each side. There, that looks pretty good. Good enough. All right, now we're going to tackle this other side. Let's grab this. This is different. We're going to measure over one and a quarter and cut. We're going to do the same thing. We'll apply glue and we will fit it right on in there. Making sure I get those edges. That's where it usually is a problem spot, is getting the edges down completely. Okay, let's go back to the front. The front is the one with the black over here. The back looks like this. In your paper pack, you will find this print. On the back, it is this. What I would like you to do is look at your paper like this. We're going to measure over a half inch and cut. After making that cut, this is what you should have. I'm going to put this in my reserves. I'm going to turn it this way. We're going to measure over eight and a quarter inches and cut. We want the long piece. We're going to apply glue to this side. And we're going to place this top and bottom, and we will leave that black border like over here. Very simple. All right, for this, let's grab this back out. And I think what I would like to do is we're going to turn this upside down, and we're going to measure over a half inch and cut. Now the reason why I'm doing some little cuts off this is because I don't want to cut into a lot of this so and I wanted to get this so this is what we have we will look at it like this some print over here we'll measure over eight and a quarter and cut this piece apply glue we'll bring it over here it'll match up we'll leave a little bit of a black over here border and we'll glue that down
right, let's grab this back out. We're going to turn it like this. We're going to measure over a half inch and cut. Put this in your reserves. Here we are. Measure over eight and a quarter and cut. Apply glue and we're going to do the same thing over here. So it all kind of matches in. Let's turn it back to the front. In your paper pack you will have this gorgeous print and on the back it looks like this. Let's put this on our paper cutter and we're going to cut right down the middle to start which is about six inches. We'll put this in our reserves and then we're going to cut this way. Now we're going to cut right above the little cream frame and we'll put that in our reserves. Now we may need to trim this down a little bit. So you see where your frame is here and it gets into the other side. Let's just trim off, it's about an eighth of an inch, right over here. Trim this up a little. We'll put that in reserves. We, need, we may need something. And then we'll do the same over here. Just so all we see is that cream colored frame. All right. Next thing we want to do is grab some scrap cardstock and what we're going to do is we're going to lay this down, we'll glue it down and we will leave about a 16th inch border and then we'll cut around that. This is scrap piece. It does have a scoring on it, but I'm not you're not going to be able to see that when I'm done. So when I was doing pre-cuts, I did a miscut, so it's in my scrap pile. Alright, now I'm just going to cut uh, around it, leaving it about a sixteenth or so. Uh, let's see. That looks pretty good. I might have to take off a little more over here. There we go. So in the front, now this looks really good. We're just going to glue that down. Now when I do this, I am going to center this side to side. So it is going to overlap onto this different color variation. I'm just going to leave maybe a quarter inch over there. Get that down in the middle somewhere. And there is our cover. We are now moving in to the bottom closure, which is this piece. All right, we're ready to cover this. There are no pre-cuts for this. This is the bottom closure. And let's grab this out of our reserves. We're going to turn this upside down. She's upside down. We're going to measure over six and a quarter inches and cut. After making that cut, put this in your reserves. And Let's turn it like this. Our little trunk is over here, the hat. Measure over eight and a quarter and cut. Now for everything on the inside, we can just use glue. And we're going to glue that down right on top of this. All right, here we go. I'm going to just center that on in there as best I can. Try to get that straight. Okay, bottom closure is done. We are now moving on in to page one. We're on to page one and in your paper pack you will find this sheet on the back. It is this. The first thing I'd like us to do is we're going to turn this sideways so the writing is right down here. We're going to measure over eight and a quarter and cut. After making that cut, this is what you should have. Measure over six inches and cut. So after making that cut, this is what you should have. 
And because I want to reserve this to place a photo, I could go this side up and do a photo over here and have this out of the background, but I am going to flip this over. So I'm going to place glue on this side, and then I'm just going to center that right on in there. So I'm going to have a little more black uh, chipboard showing paper on each side. But I am going to make sure that I center this top and bottom. So I'm going to get this in here. i got to pull this towards me a bit. Making sure I don't get on that uh, hinging over there. So right about there somewhere. All right, we are done with the page one. We're going to open this up now. We're going to get on the inner spine number one. Alright, we are working on inner spine number one, and that is where we are going to create our page two and a pocket for page two. So on the pre-cutting guide under that section, you would have cut a six and three quarter by eight and a quarter piece, and we labeled it page two. So it does not matter if your scoring board, the zero, starts here or over here. We're going to manipulate our paper anyway to go which way we want it to go. So for the scoring, all we did was we laid this on our scoring board so that we are six and three quarters across and we scored at a half inch. That's it. And you can go ahead and fold on that score line and use your tool. Next, we cut a four and a half by seven inch piece. We called it a pocket. We laid this on our scoring board. We are four and a half inches across. We scored at a half inch. We then rotated our piece. We are now laying seven inches across. We scored at a half and six and a half. So let's get started. The first thing I would like you to do is make sure that you folded and you creased and You've got your page two. I'm going to show you first before we actually do it. So what's going to happen is we're going to lay our score tape, our peak is up, over here, and or use glue, whichever you like. You're going to want to have this open when you do this. All we're going to do is then we'll bring up the side. We're going to place this right where that hinge is right here, but we have to make sure we, we center that in there, top and bottom because then what we're going to do is bring this up and we're going to press it. But when I say we have to make sure that we uh, center that top and bottom is because what happens is, is this piece here is going to have to be able to slide back into this. Okay? And this has to go over because when we close this up, this is what protects our inner page. Okay? So glue you can use or score tape. So I'm just going to use my score tape here. And over here, and we want to make sure we don't get score tape on that peak. So sometimes what you can do is you can overlap a little if you need to. Now if you've had problems in the past where you've overlapped and, it, and after pulling back the tape it um, makes kind of a ridge, then what you can do is pull off one side first and then lay your second one. Just make sure you don't get on your peak. So that is another way to do that in case you've experienced where you've gotten too much bulk. Alright, so we're going to do this. So my peak is up. I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to make sure that this is going to clear. So right in the middle there. I'll bring this up and just press it against. So it's like that. So now this page is page two. So this is page two. And the idea of this is I wanted to add another page to this. And so when we go to close it up, this one's going to fold in, and then this is going to come down, and then it slides right in there. So it gives us an extra page inside of here rather than losing that space. So that should be able to slide in and out. Okay. 
So we are working, I got glue on me, on page two. We can now erase this part where it said inner spine. We can go ahead and erase that. In your reserves, you will have this piece. And we need to, and this is the perfect size right now. This is already our eight and a quarter, I believe. Let's just check this out. It is. We're gonna measure over three quarters and cut. Now after making that cut, this is what you should have. Keep this. We're gonna use a little glue on that, but first we'll make sure that it will fit right on in there, and it should. We're gonna glue that down. I'll just get that right up next to it without interfering with that page being able to move. There we go. So there's our page two. Now, you see right here when we flip this over, we have a little bit of our uh, black showing before you get to this hinge. Let's just use this piece. We'll apply glue and we'll center it right on in there. I gotta go wash my hands. I've got glue all over me. Just right in between those two little score lines. All right. We're going to go ahead and work on this. Grab this out of your reserves. It looks like this. We're going to turn it this way. We're going to measure over eight inches and cut. And that's just going to take off a little bit from the bottom there. Now let's verify we don't need to trim this down any further, but here is our page two. And so that you can see back behind, I'm going to grab something. I'm just going to slide this back behind so you can see what I'm doing here. But if you were to lay this down, you should be able to center it in there to where it creates a nice black border all the way around your piece. We'll go ahead and glue that down. If you prefer to use your score tape, go ahead. I'm pretty much done with my score tape now. The rest of this I'll be using glue, I think. So it's just easier placing something back behind so that we can see what we're doing. And that looks good. Let's flip to the back side. And this is the back of page two. Just so that you don't get confused with what I'm doing here. So we are going to have a pocket here. So let's grab this. And you'll notice we have two score lines going down the side and one across the bottom. Over here it creates a little square on each side from those score lines. We're just going to cut out those squares. We'll get this ready to go. This is a real quick, easy uh, folio or trifold style. Move that out of the way. So this is what yours should look like now. We're going to just turn it over and we're going to fold on those score lines. Okay, with the sides in, pull down that bottom flap. And if you start catching on the bottom over here, you can just trim off the bottom a little bit better so that this will be able to fold up and over. We're going to come down to the bottom corner here place a little glue and we'll fold that up. Okay, our pocket is ready to go. We're going to get our paper first. In your paper pack you will have this beautiful print on the back. It is this. We're going to turn this sideways, measure over 8 inches and cut. So after making that cut, this is what you should have. We're going to measure over five and seven eighths and cut. After making your cut, this is what you should have. We're going to apply glue to this side and we are going to center it right on in there, making sure that we are not on our uh, little hinge here. good rule of thumb is just to stay maybe an eighth of an inch away sometimes um, on that hinge. We'll burnish that. Alright, next comes our pocket. Now 
if you're new to this, oop, I need a little more burnishing down in the corner. If you turn it to the back side, you'll see that lip. That is always the bottom. So when I go like this, that just means that that is the top and this is the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply glue to the sides and the bottom and we're gonna get this down on our paper. So the opening is here. We'll bring it down to the bottom of our decorative paper and to the side there and we can puck pucker it just a little bit so it lines up side to side. Gives us a little more room in there. In your reserves you will find this beautiful print and on the back it is this. So what we're going to do is you can see some writing here. We're going to turn this upside down. The writing is upside down. We're going to measure over five and seven eighths and cut. And if we were to place this it should fit side to side and we're going to have a black lip up here so you can tell it's a pocket. We're going to glue that down. And let's see. I don't know if it really matters which way my flowers are going. Alright, I'm going to set this to the side. We're going to be doing something here. I wanted to add a little more to this pocket. So in your reserves you will have this piece. What we're going to do is cut out and around this image. So when I cut, I think I'm going to go straight across here underneath and then I'll come in and around. And I will show you what mine looks like as soon as I am done. Okay, I have mine cut out. Now notice around her face I cut off that little piece. I wasn't quite sure what that was. Now I'm going to grab a piece of cardstock and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down to it and then I'm going to cut out and around leaving about a sixteenth of a black border and that's really going to make her pop out. So I will show you what mine looks like as soon as I am done. Alright, so this is what mine looks like see the black little border around it. So what I want to do is bring over here at least the corner to the bottom corner of my piece and I'm going to glue this all down except for underneath there. I just wanted to do something different. So what I can do is turn this over and make a pencil line where I think I need to stop with that glue. And to make sure that I don't mess up I'm going to grab a scratch piece of cardstock and get it back behind there. So in case I do go over with my glue, it won't get on my designer paper there. I'm not going to make a tuck with this because I do need this to be down so it does not catch on anything on the other page. I'm just going to stick her down right there. And I'm going to press to make sure if any glue did get over it would get onto the cardstock and I look like I'm pretty good. Okay, page two is complete and that is going to make for a good pocket. I have a scrap here, but as you can see we can get something in there pretty good. Okay, moving on, page three. We're on page three and we have some pre-cuts. We cut five pieces that were four and three quarter by five and a half. We labeled only one waterfall. We laid this on our scoring board so that we are four and three quarters across and we scored at a half inch. And we did the same with each one of these. So we'll just set that off to the side. In your reserves, you should have this print. This will fit perfectly right on in there, giving you about an eighth inch away from each one of those hinges. And it should fit in there to get away from the hinge here and up here. So I'm just going to line this up the top with the top of the decorated paper there when I place this. So let's go ahead and do that. And 
end. I don't want to get my head in the video, but I think that that's pretty good right there. I think I'm fairly straight, maybe a little off. There, I think that's a little better. Okay, I'm going to set this off to the side and we will get our waterfall pieces out. So all we're going to do right now is fold on those score lines and use our tool to sharpen it up a bit. Oh, it sounds like there's a delivery. Sissy and Sasha are barking at something. Hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, now that it's quiet again, here are our five waterfall pieces. So what we're first gonna do is grab your ruler and from the bottom of your decorated paper, measure up five inches and just make a pencil line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the peak up, we're gonna apply glue here and we're gonna fold that back and bring this up to the line, just covering it and we are going to leave even spacing side to side. So our first one, folding it back, bringing it up to the line and trying to get that on there straight. Uh, I think that's pretty straight. Good enough for me anyway. And once I have it down, I'll burnish this way, then I'll flip it up and I'll burnish again. Here's another one. We're going to do the same thing. And I'll show you what we do with this. So there's that. The peak is up. All I'm going to do is rotate this and bring this right up against this one. So when I lay it flat like this, it'll line up on the sides. I'll burnish. And then I'm going to burnish that down. And we're going to keep going with this. So there's the peak, and then I'm just going to bring this even, making sure that when they fall, they fall even on the sides. My next one, I'll do that again, place it, bring it down, make sure it's even. And my last one, there we go. In your reserves you will have this beautiful print and on the back it is this. This is already four inches so it's perfect for us. We're going to measure over five and a quarter and cut. We'll measure over again five and a quarter and cut. This is what you should have. The one with the rose, we're going to go ahead and glue down to the top. This should fit nicely right on top and we'll just go ahead and kind of center it in there as best we can. We're going to flip that up and right here we're going to apply glue to this side and we're going to glue that down right like that. I don't know what she keeps. There was a delivery but I'm not sure what she's barking at. So whatever way that you would like to put your print so I'll get that down there and I'll leave a little bit of black there. So, so far that's what we have. In your paper pack you will have this print. It's very pretty. We're going to turn it sideways so the writing is like that. We're going to do some cuts here. We're going to measure over four inches and cut. We'll measure over again four inches and cut. So this is what you should have. Now on each one of these, looking at the print like this, all three of them, I'm going to just stack them up. We're going to measure over five and a quarter and cut, and we'll measure over again five and a quarter and cut. Okay, 
so I have all of these. I'm going to flip this up. So you'll find this one, and we're just going to place it down right here. We'll fold that up. And you'll find one right here with the shoe. We'll apply glue, and we'll glue that one down. So, so far we have that. And we'll flip it up to this one. And this one here, we'll just glue that down right like that. Just use what we can here. You can do these anyway. You don't have to follow along exactly with what I'm doing. Let's take a look. Looks pretty good. We'll flip that up. And I would like... I'm going to grab this one here and I'm going to apply glue. Okay, flip that up. And I think I want a little bit of color here, so I'm going to put glue on this side. Flip that up. And I think I'll have the writing up. All right, behind the front cover is this. And what I would like you to do is, let's see, how do I want to do this? I think we'll turn it sideways, the flowers down here, measure over four inches and cut. After doing that, we'll measure over five and a quarter and cut, and we'll measure over again five and a quarter and cut. All right, we're gonna take this one, we're gonna apply glue, and we're gonna glue it down here. We'll put that up, we'll apply glue, and we'll put that one right like that. So let's do that. I think you can see. All right, I have mine down. Looks pretty good. Now this will settle down over time. Let's get some paper for on in here and down in here. All right, so we're going to start with right down here on the inside. In your reserves, you will have this. Measure over six inches and cut that in half. Set this one off to the side. This one right here, we're just going to apply glue. We're going to center it right on in there. And we're going to glue that down. Lots of places for photographs in this. I had to think about this a little bit and how I wanted to do it in order to get the most I can out of this. And that'll fit right on in. Okay, we're going to fold this up. This one will apply glue. And we're going to center that one in there side to side as well. And then we're going to use some scrap pieces from our reserves for the top part. All right, so that's that. And now for up here. In your reserves, you will find these two pieces. It has this on the back, and it's probably about six and a quarter, six and an eighth. It's about six and a quarter wide. And this one is about three and a quarter this way. And then we have this piece. This one is about three and three quarters, and I think this is six and a quarter wide. So the first thing that we're going to do with both of these is just kind of double them up. We're going to measure over six inches and cut. So now that we have that, what we're going to do is look at it like this. So this is over here. And this one we can just put like this. But on each one of these, we're going to measure over one and seven eighths and cut. And we'll measure over one and seven eighths on this one too. All right, so these are our pieces. So on the inside, all I'm going to do is, let's see here. I can go with this color and kind of center it in there. Or I can use this one. And I'm going to use this side up. I think that's pretty straight. Works out, and then on this side, we're going to have it to where it, it's like that. Now for this, I'm going to put this one down, and and then I'm going to latch it so I can kind of line up with my other decorative paper, and I'll have a thick border there, and that is just fine. 
So I'm going to set that off to the side for a minute. On your last piece to your paper pack, you will find this right over, well, let's go with this one. Let's grab this one out. So I'm going to weave in there and get that. So I'm going to kind of cut out and around, kind of weave around this a bit. And I'll show you what mine looks like in just a moment. I'm not going to get real persnickety about how I'm cutting this. I'm just kind of weaving around. That's going to be the best bet, I think, for me, the easiest way. So this is what mine looks like. I'm going to grab a piece of black cardstock. I'm going to glue it down, and then I'm going to cut out and round, leaving about a sixteenth of black showing. And I'll show you what mine looks like when I'm done. So when you're done, what you're going to want to do is glue it to the top part of your flip. Right up here. And the easiest way to grab a piece of cardstock scrap and put it down underneath. And then you're just going to glue this part down only. And then when you're done with that, flip it up. Make sure there's no glue seeping out. But that's all. I'm going to bring this up a little closer for you just like that real easy we're going to work with the inner spine and i forgot to turn on my camera but it's real simple in your paper pack you will have this print and you're going to have a piece off here all you're going to do is measure over one inch and cut that one inch you will cut it down to eight and a quarter so you're going to have a one inch by eight and a quarter strip there. And then this piece, just put in your reserves and you'll glue that down. All right, once you get that done, we're moving on to page four. Our first pre-cut was six and seven eighths by eight and a quarter and we called it a fold out. What we did was we laid this on our scoring board. We are six and seven eighths across. We scored at a half inch and three quarters inch. We called it a fold out. Our next one was a four by seven pocket. And we laid that on our scoring board. We are four inches across. We scored at a half. We then turned it. We are seven inches across. We scored at a half and six and a half. All right, bring this back out of your reserves. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to measure over six inches and cut that in half. All right. So what you're going to want to do is set this one off to the side. We're going to need that. Okay. I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. Actually, let me give you a measurement. We'll make some cuts here. So first thing is, is measure over two and a half inches and cut. All right. After you do that, this is what it should look like. We'll turn it this way. We'll measure over eight and a quarter and cut. All right, we'll use that. To start, let's get our six and seven eight by eight and a quarter fold out. And what you'll do is you'll fold on each one of those score lines there, on each. So our hinge is gonna be off to the right. And you'll notice you have an outside score line and then an inside. On this outside one, we're going to crease fold it and you'll still be able to see your other one. All we're going to do is slide that little hinge back behind our page and it should fit. It's going to be a little longer right now. But we just want to make sure that we get it tucked in there. And once we have it, we're going to pinch and hold it. Now mine did slip when I kind of knocked it, so I'm going to make sure that that's correct. But then what you're going to do on that little flap is you'll pull it back, and I like to keep my hand down so it stays steady and doesn't slip. And I'll put some glue out here, and then I'm going to fold this over, and then I'm going to burnish. And then once I do that, I am going to open it up, make sure there is no glue in there. And then I can fold back on that other score line and push it in. So this is what it's going to look like. Let's finish up on the outside of the fold out right now and grab this. We set it off to the side. We're going to turn it sideways. We're going to measure over 
8 inches and cut. We'll do that. Now this should place nicely right on in there giving us a black border all the way around and we're just going to glue that down first and then we'll get to the inside. Alright, let's open that up and we're also going to need our pocket. We can get that ready right now but we're going to do the same thing we did before. Where the score lines meet and make those squares, we're going to cut those out. Then all we have to do is fold. So then we'll fold that. That. So here are my sides. Here's that bottom flap. Make sure that it comes up and over. If it doesn't, then you can trim up those little flaps. But down in the corner, we'll put our glue. And then we'll burnish that. Okay, we can set this off to the side. In your paper pack, you will find this gorgeous print. And because there's writing on this side, we'll, we'll look at this side to do our cutting, but we are gonna turn it sideways. So the writing is sideways. Measure over eight inches and cut. Once you've done that, measure over five and seven eighths and cut. Now you can use this side or you can use this side. I'm going to use this side. I'm going to turn it so it's the correct way so my things are looking okay. But I'm going to glue that down. It's all up to you how you want to do this as far as which side to use. And I'm going to center it on in there. And try to get it in there as best I can. I just want to stay at least an eighth away from that uh, hinge for sure. Okay, it's time for the pocket. The opening is here. Turn this over and get our glue. And this, we left room in our spacing on this foldout so that we can pucker this up a little bit and meet the sides of our decorative paper. So I'm going to start, whoops, I'm going to start over here on the bottom corner, match that up with the side of my uh, decorative paper, and then I can pucker this side in to match. Just want to try and get this straight on. All right, let's grab this back out of our reserves. On the back, it's this. Our first cut, we're going to measure over 5 and 7 eighths and cut. All right, now that we've done that, I'm going to turn it. The writing's going here. We're going to measure over three and three eighths and cut. Once you have that, let's verify our cut is good. And we'll leave that black lip up here and we're going to glue that down. On your cut apart sheet, you will see this. We're going to cut that out. So what we're going to do is cut out and around this image. And then what we're going to do is glue it down to some black cardstock and we'll cut out and around that leaving about a sixteenth. And I'll show you what mine looks like. So that's mine before putting it down. And next I'll show you with the black around it before we place it. So here is mine with the black edge around there. So I am going to place this right here and I am going to leave it so it's also a tuck. So what I'm going to do is rotate this on the bottom. I'm going to put a line of glue just a little bit and I think just right here, right behind this little corner, just a dot to hold it in place and then I'll just kind of bring it over a bit and get it down right over here. So let me grab something from the reserves really quick to see how I found this. So now this should be able to slide something right up front there. We definitely have a ton of room. Okay, let's close this up. Now normally I like to use score tape on something like this, um, but I am going to do the glue. I'm going to trust the process here hopefully not be sorry. Okay, so I have my glue there. Now this is important so you don't get on your hinge, but when you place this, come over 
to where you are almost at the edge of your, your uh, chipboard. So you'll just be able to see. So when you place this, you're going to want to be at least an eighth of an inch away from your hinge area. And I'm just going to keep it open while I have this glue so I can try and get this on straight. And I'm just going to burnish down that really good and let that glue set so it doesn't come back up. But there is that, and that should not interfere when you go like this with your hinge. So let's take a look at this because we are pretty much done here. Everything is decorated. All our stuff is in there. Let's see how it goes together. Looks good. Plenty of spacing. When you open that up, then our page two comes out. And then over here we have another. And there is our Memory Keeper Trifold Album. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, remember I said in the beginning we don't do picture mats together because everyone has their own taste and size of photographs that they do. However, in the beginning of the video, I give some ideas. I'll show you some picture mats that I did. So happy crafting. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I put out free tutorials all the time. See you again on my next tutorial.